debuting on CBS in the summer of 2000, was the U.S. version of Big Brother. It aired July 5th and ran until September 29th. Riding off the wild success of another reality hit show, Survivor, CBS decided to go all in with a reality brand based on the Netherlands series of the same name. Big Brother Season 1's premise revolved around 10 strangers living in a house together where they were constantly filmed but had no communication with the outside world. Every other week, each contestant, known as house guest, chose two people to be nominated for banishment from the house. The two or more house guests with the most votes were nominated to leave the house. U.S. viewers of the show called in to decide which of the nominees should leave, with the live banishment being announced during either the Wednesday or Thursday episode. The process continued until only three house guests remained. Viewers decided the winner from the final three, that person winning the $500,000 grand prize. The first season aired five to six nights per week, with live feeds on the show's website streaming 24-7 for free. Big Brother 1 featured two hosts, Julie Chen and Ian O'Malley. Julie Chen would remain host for future seasons. Ian O'Malley hosted this season only. On earning the job, O'Malley stated, I didn't really know what it was. This is the ground floor of reality television. He was released from his contract after only one month. He viewed his release as a, quote, relief. Additionally, Dr. Drew Penske and AOL online advisor Regina Lewis appeared once per week to analyze the activities in the house. The contestants for the season were revealed during the premiere. They included Brittany Petros, a 25-year-old actress from Minnesota. Cassandra Walden, a 37-year-old UN Communications Director from Maryland. Curtis Ken, a 28-year-old lawyer from New York City. Eddie McGee, a 21-year-old entertainer from New York. George Boswell, a 41-year-old roofer from Illinois. Jamie Kern, a 22-year-old model from Seattle. Jean Jordan, a 26-year-old exotic dancer from Virginia. Josh Sosa, a 23-year-old civil engineering student from California. Karen Fowler, a 43-year-old mother from Indiana. And William Will Mega Collins, a 27-year-old politician from Philadelphia. Also, viewers were introduced to a potential 11th house guest, Beth, who never entered the house. Series creator John DeMol stated, The 10 people in our house, you can relate to them. It's the girl next door. It's the guy in the grocery store. It's ordinary people, and I think that Big Brother proves ordinary people can be interesting. George and Karen, the older house guests, both are married and parents. Cassandra and William are African Americans and Curtis an Asian American. Eddie is an amputee who lost his left leg to cancer. The season lasted 88 days. While in the house, house guests had to participate in tasks which would cause them to gain or lose a portion of their weekly shopping budget that the house guests agreed to wager. They also participated in a luxury task where the winner received a luxury reward. The single story house used was located at the CBS Studio Center in Hollywood, California. It consisted of two bedrooms, a kitchen, dining room, and one bathroom. 
The Red Room was where house guests were required to share their thoughts and where they were given tasks. The backyard had a patio and a chicken coop with live chickens. House guests cared for the chickens and were able to use the eggs as food. On day five, one of the chickens was injured. It was removed from the house and brought back later to be nursed back to health, mainly by George Boswell. George gained the nickname Chicken George, resulting from the care he gave to the chicken. On day seven, Will intentionally failed his portion of the weekly challenge, upsetting many house guests. On day nine, Will and Jordan were given the most nominations by house guests. On day 17, Will became the first in Big Brother U.S. history to be banished from the house with 73% of the public vote. On day 22, Curtis and Jordan were nominated. On day 30, Jordan was the second house guest banished with 78% of the public vote. On day 36, house guests participated in a live challenge where they voted one house guest to receive a call from home. They voted George to receive the call. Also on day 36, Cassandra, Josh, and Karen were nominated. And Chiquita, a pug dog house guest were tasked to take care of, moved into the house. On day 44, Karen was the third house guest banished with 76% of the public vote. In prior days, Karen asked the public to banish her since she missed her children. On day 50, Brittany, Cassandra, Curtis, Eddie, George, and Josh were nominated. On day 58, Jamie was given the task of co-hosting the live episode with Julie Chen. Jamie announced who was banished, which was Brittany, becoming the fourth house guest banished with 34% of the public vote. It was revealed that George's wife and family campaigned for viewers to vote out some of the more popular house guests to keep George in the game. It was claimed this is the reason that the popular house guest Brittany was banished. On day 64, Cassandra, Curtis, and Eddie were nominated. The house guests were offered $20,000 then $50,000 to walk from the game. If accepted, then the alternate house guest Beth would enter the house and nominations would be voided. None of the house guests accepted the offer. During a luxury task, Curtis won the reward of going to the Primetime Emmy Awards. On day 72, Cassandra was the fifth house guest banished with 46% of the public vote. On day 74, Curtis, Eddie, George, and Jamie were nominated. On day 79, George was the sixth house guest banished with 51% of the public vote. On day 81, all four remaining house guests were nominated. This was the final round of nominations for the season. On day 86, Jamie was the seventh house guest to be banished with 31% of the public vote. Chiquita also left the house the same night, being adopted by a couple upon her exit. On day 88, it was revealed Curtis came in third with 14% of the public vote to win. Josh came in second with 27% of the public vote. Eddie McGee was awarded as the first Big Brother U.S. winner with 59% of the public vote. Airing during the same summer as the highly successful inaugural season of Survivor, CBS premiered Big Brother as if it were an awards show, with limos bringing the house guests to the house amongst cheering crowds. In anticipation of another reality hit, the U.S. viewing public gave the premiere a very high rating, with 22 million watching. Despite the high premiere, ratings for the series quickly declined and it dropped out of the top 10. However, the online live feeds had one of the highest ratings for a website. The official website was one of the most popular new websites for the month of July. 
The LA Daily News reported that the online aspect changed both the dynamic in the house and the TV show's content. The reason for a decline in viewership and poor ratings has been cited by the critics and fans as being because the show was boring. The most interesting house guests, Will and Jordan, were banished early, and the remaining house guests were not interesting to watch and lacked personality. Les Moonves, then CBS chief and now husband of host Julie Chen, stated that the casting sucked and there were more provocative storylines that could have been followed that were dropped. The series at the time came under criticism and controversy. Because it was voyeuristic in nature, many critics panned the show for its intrusive nature. Even the title caused controversy. Chicago attorney Marvin Rosenblum filed a lawsuit against CBS, Viacom, and Orwell Productions for copyright infringement. Rosenblum, a producer of the film 1984, owns the film and TV rights to the novel. He claimed the show illegally bars from it by using the Big Brother moniker from the novel 1984. In 2001, Rosenblum, CBS, and Viacom settled the lawsuit under undisclosed terms. Numerous controversial events occurred during the game. The show's security was breached when it was reported two screenwriters threw a tennis ball stuffed with fake news stories into the house garden after finding it was unguarded. Also, planes towing banners with discouraging messages to the house guest flew over the house, which could be seen by the house guests. The first season had a total of 70 episodes, the most for any season to date. Despite the lack of strong ratings and numerous controversies surrounding the series, Big Brother did help earn CBS a 17% increase for its time slot and was ultimately renewed in September 2000 for a second season. It was then confirmed, however, that there would be numerous changes to the format of the series. The premise of the season drastically differed from future installments of the series. Subsequent seasons would feature 12 or more house guests. In future seasons, the house guests would decide which of the nominees should leave, not viewers. Competitions would determine who had power in the house to nominate, and that was known as head of household. And in later seasons, who to unnominate, and that was known as veto. The red room was changed to the diary room. Being banished was changed to evicted. The final three to win became final two to win, and the evicted house guests, not the viewing public, voted to crown the winner. Ultimately, for the series to be renewed, CBS changed the production team and casting moving forward. Setting up the series to be run for many more seasons and still going to date. Welcome to Big Brother!